Hey everybody, Jay Krista, say I do forever. Uh, Saturday morning. Happy Saturday, everyone. Got our coffee. Got your coffee. Grab, grab yourself a cup of coffee and come sit with us. Hang um, out. Sometimes it takes forever to download this, so hopefully it's not too far into the afternoon. Yeah, we'll see you this evening. <laughs> But it really is the morning right, right now when we're when we're. Yeah, it's eight thirty. Yeah, is it eight thirty already? Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, I was gonna get up early and get going, but there we go. So, we don't know how you guys feel about it, but um, now that we have October behind us, um, we're looking forward to Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, we wish you know all of our kids were um, here uh, for Christmas, but. At least we have one out of three here. So <laughs> one out of three ain't yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good. So yeah. But we are looking forward to Thanksgiving. We really, really enjoy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. We have a, a daughter, our oldest daughter, Cynthia, lives in Alabama, and she's getting her doctorate um, there, and she will probably be there for quite a while in anthropology. Mm -hmm. And our son, um, Andrew, lives in Colorado. Yep. He does truck driving, and we do get to see him every once in a while when he drives Whenever through. Whenever he's coming through Idaho. Mm -hmm. yep. But now that it's uh, turning to winter, I usually Christian. don't really like him driving up here. Yeah. It's just all part of his job, but yeah, mm -hmm. when he's on ice and snow, it's not good. Yeah. And then our son, he actually moved back here. He was in California for a little bit, and he is back here in... Yeah. Uh, Idaho yeah. and uh, he he is actually going out with us today we're gonna go uh, looking for um, some homes yeah and see if he has until February yeah till his lease is up, is up. and the apartment that he's in so an apartment costs are just be soaring good. they're crazy yeah. around here well apartment it's it's supply and demand Mm -hmm. You know, um, I don't know where you guys are at, where you live, if you've got, like, housing issues. I think it's nationwide, but but here, it's like mm -hmm. they can't build houses fast enough, and the houses they do build are four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000 homes, and it's like, who can afford that? We ended up in our house that we're in now um, six years ago. Kind and, of a tiny home. Yeah. Or 1,000 square foot home. Yeah, and... We got it for a good price, and uh, if we were to buy our same home now, for the prices that it's at now, or the price that it's at now, we wouldn't have been able to get it's into it. Almost, it's starting to get close to triple of what we paid just yeah. six years ago. Yeah, <laughs> that's just crazy. Yeah, as far as investment wise, I think mm -hmm. we did a great job getting this house. Yeah, man, so. if if we had somewhere to go, we could sell it and make some good money. <laughs> but yeah. we love our home. We are settled. Um, yeah. We got the studio all built. There's no way we can sell it now. But I'm glad yeah. we bought before this craze. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're not we're not going anywhere anytime soon. So mm -hmm. um, we enjoy it here, and the studio has been great for you. So mm -hmm. um, other things that we got going on: um, breakfast this morning with Joshua. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then um, It'd my be nice to go to breakfast. My Z has the um, paint. The roof, the clear coat is bubbling, so I've got to take that in next week to get that fixed. And that will be nice before the weather gets really bad here. Mm -hmm. So it won't be good to have on. snow piling on that. Not yeah. on how it's bubbled. Mm -mm. That would be really yeah. good. Exactly. So we're doing that. And next week is Thanksgiving. All right. I'm gonna That's a good cook. Thing. I'm gonna cook. Yeah, Mama's cooking. We'll see how it turns <laughs> out. <laughs> Anytime you cook, it always turns out good when she cooks. Yeah, I it's, love her. It's I love just her cooking. A little more stressful now because I'm out of practice. It's like riding a bike. You don't forget how to make a turkey. No, I mean, I can make stuffing. a turkey and all that kind of stuff. I just, it gets a little more tense. Like, it used to come second nature. Like, because I cooked every day and I was a homemaker. She cooks really good. And now I go, ah, I don't know what I'm doing. You cook really good. I'm excited. <laughs> What's your favorite um, dish? You guys, too, comment. What's your favorite uh, Thanksgiving dish? I'd have to I'd have to say the turkey with the mashed potatoes and gravy. That's the pretty com good. the combo. I mean that's something to look forward to all year. 
Do you guys like so... cranberry sauce on your turkey? And do you like the cranberry sauce that's chunky or the cranberry sauce that is um, gelled? And I like the, the chunky. And last year I actually made homemade cranberry sauce. I boiled it myself. It was really, really easy. I was like surprised. All these years I've been buying it in a can. Why did I not just Well, make you and it? your dad both like the cranberry sauce, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah. don't like cranberry sauce. Mm -hmm. I don't like vegetables. I don't like, I don't mm -hmm. like anything, so. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Except for turkey and mashed potatoes and gravy. I usually like the sides even better. I like uh, all the yeah. little jello dishes and all the sweets and yeah and stuff oh speaking of that um so i went to a baby shower um with my dear friend uh tracy jones um her daughter is having actually her daughter and her daughter-in-law are both having babies but her daughter's baby is uh due in december so i went to a baby shower and they had all these wonderful um you know uh snacks and stuff but then they had and drinks and all um, that. hot cider yeah oh my gosh and it was so good and i remember years and years and years ago we had done like a home tour with her through our church and she had made wassail and she always made the best wassail and she had a recipe so i'm like tracy is this one of your amazing recipes and she goes no i got a box at hallmark and poured it into the cider and I was like, you're serious? <laughs> and I thought I would bring it on and show you guys. Um, we got this little pack of seasoning at Hallmark, our local Hallmark. It's like a pharmacy in Hallmark, yep. Kurtz. And yep. um, you, it's just full of all it's the like spices. A powder mix. Yeah. And you pour that into your hot cider. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's it so good. good. It's like creamy or... I it's, don't... it's just... It's smooth. It just has a lot of good flavor to it. Yeah. I mean, so if I'm you guys, and I, like I don't it. know if your your hallmarks near you or anything, but this is great for Thanksgiving. So, yeah. um, I sent Jay out on multiple trips, and um, he brought back two. No, I originally brought. I originally brought back. Yeah, it was two the original time, and then she sent me I back like, out. Well, I'm gonna She's like, well, I'm gonna burn more. through a lot of that. So then I got five more. Because <laughs> so. I'm like, you got Thanksgiving, you got Christmas. Uh, New Year's. I could put it on for Bible study. Um, I could put mm -hmm. it on, you know, through the holiday as we decorate a Christmas tree. Yeah, absolutely. And it's good stuff. we are getting a Christmas tree for the very first time this year in... For a few years now. We haven't, maybe five years we haven't had a Christmas tree. No, we've had a tree. We got one three or four the years first ago. year we came here. It's been a few here. years that we haven't had a tree. Because being in the bridal industry, usually right after Christmas, I'm getting, well, all through the holiday, I'm trying to prepare for a bridal expo. Right. And I'm tired. And I think, gosh, if I put up a tree, I have to take it down right when I'm trying to also set up bridal expo and start my It was chaotic. Crazy, yeah. yeah. It so was I chaotic. haven't had a, a tree for years and been a little humbug too. <laughs> 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 but we are getting a tree this year. Yes, we are. And, and we um, got the perfect place for it in our front room, so yeah. it should be good. Our daughter uh, got her tree last night. Are you guys a tree before Thanksgiving, tree after Thanksgiving, or when do you put up your tree? I want to get a live one, so we can't put that up too early. I want to smell Christmas tree Pine again. Needles. Yeah. I, I, need, I need the smell. Yeah. And... Um, Christmas. So I think we'll probably do it a good. couple weeks before. Yeah, think. that's totally fine. Yeah. Works for me. I mean, we might push it into three weeks, but then you got this dead thing. <laughs> 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 oh, and also, guys, what do you guys use to keep your tree alive? Um, tell us now so that I don't kill a tree again this year. Because we know some people do um, uh, baby aspirin and wa hot water. Hot water supposedly Sugar. opens the, sh then you the get ants. pores. <laughs> yeah. Sugar water, <laughs> and you have the invasion of the ants from outside. <laughs> yeah, uh, it'd be interesting to see everybody's take on how do you keep your Christmas tree alive mm -hmm. for a lot longer. Yeah, so I will be cooking for Thanksgiving. My parents are coming over. Josh is coming over. Yeah, I be really good. was hoping. So we kind of had our hearts set on Jay's mom being up here, yeah. and we're a little yeah, bit sad really. about that. 
really wanted them up here. And but at the same time, we feel like God must be stopping her from coming for a little bit. Yeah. She, it would be hard for her to have her first um, few months of being here be winter. Right, because it's so cold. So she's going to, uh, she took her house off the market. She's going to put it back up in the, spring. in the spring. So if you guys can all just yeah. keep praying um, that right when she puts it up, um, she can get up here. Um, but so that would be yeah. nice because she'll just kind of enter into the most magical. I I think spring is just amazing with all the bulbs. Spring and, is always fun here. And she loves and summer. summer and we can have fire pits and all summer that. Summer is going to be stuff. so good. Oh yeah. 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 It and should be good. Here comes your kitty. Yep. He always mm -hmm. He's always wanting to show up during the videos. Come here. So Let's get into close-up. <laughs> that is Alexander. He's like, what are we doing? <laughs> we love this cat. We've had what him for quite a while doing, now. What are you doing, huh, Alexander? He's a good boy. Yeah. Anyway, um, so that's the gist of our November and December. It's going to be in right No. You want your my coffee. coffee. You want your coffee. Yeah, he knows better. <laughs> He's on me. Uh, so, yeah, one more week. Is it about one more week of November? Mm -hmm. And then on to December and on to um, 2022. Yep. Can you believe that? That's crazy. Oh, I didn't and even think we'd survive 2020, and here we are, almost to 2022. Yeah, that's a good sign. <laughs> that's a really good sign. And I've been applying at different places. I haven't got anything, um, mm -hmm. any information back yet. So mm -hmm. I've applied like at four different places. And but that's okay. I'm kind of enjoying having you home. Now that I don't have to sew, I yeah. kind of want to hang out with you. Yeah, I know. I kind of am a little selfish. I know. <laughs> But, it, you know, it's it's all going to be in God's timing, you know, whenever he is going to let me go back to work. You know, we're leaving it up to him. For Waiting phone calls patiently is hard. Getting contacted, yeah. Mm -hmm. It is hard. And he's teaching me patience. Patience, I'm sure he is. Yeah. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're okay. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it is getting colder and colder, so. Yeah. And... In that way, I am glad that your mom's not here experiencing that. <laughs> It'd be okay well, if she's been here for all the good season and then the short, you know, cold season. But, but to it, come here and have that her first experience here. But it doesn't get that cold. I mean, it gets cold. Yeah. Like a typical cold weather, winter. But it doesn't get like, it doesn't get North Dakota cold. <laughs> and it doesn't get Wisconsin cold. So... Yeah, it it's a kind of a middle of the road cold. It's yeah. It's okay. Usually we get um, like if it snows, it melts by noon, except for those one crazy years. Well, the, yeah. So about mm, about six years ago, no, five years ago, because we were here for probably about a year. It was the second year we were here. But anyway, there was this. They called it Snowmageddon. And uh, that was insane. We had like three to four feet, maybe even more than four feet, and pretty much the town shut down. Everyone, it was stopped. You couldn't drive anywhere. You couldn't go anywhere. You couldn't walk anywhere. I mean, it was ridiculous. The people the, were all abandoning the roads, their cars. Yeah, people were just leaving them. <laughs> they, it's like I can't go anywhere. It's so. stuck in the middle of the road. Yeah. I have to start walking. Yeah, it was a mess. <laughs> you couldn't get into neighborhoods because the plows trying to come by had piled it up into. Yeah. So you were pretty much like in your neighborhood, stuck. Like well, and could. then the plow would go by. It was funny because then the plow would go by our driveway, and they would plow the snow up where the driveway exit is for our yard, and it's like really. So like, then I'd have to get out there and it. shovel the snow out of the way of our, you know, it's, there's this huge mountain of snow as they plowed it to the side instead of stopping and, Cutting I don't know, in. maybe they, they aren't able to stop and plow around. We don't get enough snow in our up. town for people to be experienced at plowing, <laughs> so they were right. doing their best. Well, years back... <laughs> like years ago, they sold off all of their big plow equipment because we weren't ever getting any like major snowstorms. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, 
we get a major snowstorm and they're like we don't um, have any equipment well let's go rent some from western states cat or let's go rent it from the capota dealer or let's go didn't get, they wait for get front end loaders from this place and the other place rental places it's just like gee whiz man didn't they have um Sun Valley and their equipment come after they were done clearing Sun Valley. I don't come, remember that, but yeah. they probably did. They had to come and clear us after they were done they, clearing themselves. They probably did. I mean, that was that was an insane year. I mean, it was so bad. My boss, where I used to work, he had to uh, mm -hmm. bring his four wheel drive to come get me to take me to the warehouse so I could work the warehouse um, mm -hmm. for that day. I could not drive our car. I, I just, there's no way. Yeah, he had to go around picking people up yep. and even had to pick me up at my shop and you guys had to drop me off. And, yep, um, that was crazy. Because my car got stuck at the shop. We dug, yep. we dug our girls out and barely got them out and I had to send them home with shovels yeah, so they Yeah, your car get wasn't home. going anywhere. Your car got the brunt of it. I think <laughs> it was because it was up against uh, that restaurant wall and you had snow behind it and it couldn't go anywhere. I mean, we could dig it out, but it was just like way too much. And it just kept coming down as you were, as you're digging, it just kept coming down. Yeah, it was, anyway, Yeah. it was insane. But mom, if you are watching this, that is not a normal <laughs> year. Do not panic. Normal years are good. It's okay. 99% <laughs> of all the years here are just very little skiffs and mild winters and it's maybe one or okay. two overnight kind of dumps and then by the morning they've got everything clear yeah, it may in a freak snowstorm might get six inches or four inches i don't know it just it's not like north like mm -hmm. up north it's not like canada it's not like like i said wisconsin or north dakota yeah south so dakota mom don't change your mind about moving here that's right <laughs> Because we need you here. That's right. <laughs> we want to hang out with you. Because yeah, summer is going to be great. Spring is going to be great. Spring, summer, and fall. Always <laughs> good here. Always good here. Yeah. We're going to try to do some more videos of traveling too. Um, yeah. This coming. Um, this coming year. We couldn't do um, when we were up there in the fall. Um, we thought, well, we'll stop by and we'll do the gondola, which is the kind right. of big ski lift, but it's kind of an in enclosed yeah. it's really a nice thing and then there's yeah. a steakhouse at the top yep. or a restaurant at the top yep. uh, the roundhouse and uh, we're gonna do that but when we checked into it they close that lift Labor Day right yeah they close it or they close it early so mm -hmm. we'll find out when they are gonna reopen it and when they're gonna totally definitely have it running and we'll go up there and we'll we'll vlog uh, the roundhouse and the the whole ordeal and so that way you guys can see how cool it is because it is a really cool mm -hmm. um it's probably one of the coolest things that we've ever done you know uh taking the gondola up and then the open air uh oh. <laughs> are you gonna try to video Sweet. that oh yeah up? you betcha <laughs> you betcha i'll video that's the one where i I'll hang video on Krista like hanging on to that side of the <laughs> of the s snow ski lift like this like oh my god we're gonna die <laughs> And I'll video her on the, oh, that's, so, that'll be funny. I have a thing about one. heights, but I am brave enough to get on that thing every well, once in a while. I'm not, I'm not a fan of heights either, either, but I think going up that, <laughs> the drop is like really far. I mean, you do have to hang on pretty good. Yeah. But they have the bar that comes down and you're not going to go anywhere unless you slide underneath the bar on purpose. Well, you could, it feels slippery. It feels, it feels like any minute my rear end's gonna just slide up. We need to get you Velcro for your <laughs> bottom. <laughs> you don't go anywhere. You but can just like once, sit there. Once we land up there, I remember that even the first time kind of going, we're at the top of the mountain, and I'm like, I just, even though there's like maybe 15 feet before the drop off, I'm still like, <laughs> I think at the very top it's eight thousand or nine thousand feet high. It's it's high. It's way up there. Yeah. I mean it's it's a good height. We'll have to video the the altitude because there's a sign that says what it is mm -hmm. when we get up there. It, it'll be a fun trip. We'll do that in the spring as soon as they open. Yeah. We'll travel. We'll open try to, after Memorial Day. 
Yeah, and we'll try to travel to Fairfield and Sun Valley again, you um, know, and go to different places. Yeah, there's some really pretty, pretty scenery yep. around here. And yep. There's some old ghost towns around here that would be really fun to go to. The Stricker to. Store, too. We want to yes. take you guys with us to the Stricker Store. That is also a good place in Hanson. Mm -hmm. um, it was part of the Oregon Trail. Yeah, which is really cool history. Mm -hmm. um, the Stricker family... Yeah little mat here oh, sorry yeah. we okay. we brought in our patio plants <laughs> and we've been battling that for yeah. reasons oh my gosh you ever see us go <laughs> it's because of the gnats we are desperately like, searching on. youtube for cures and we've been pouring stuff on our plants we've even <laughs> killed a few plants we're trying not to kill the plants and in fact, a couple of them, I just got, I was like, you know what? We're buying new next year. And I put it back outside to die. So we've, some of our plants we've had to murder, but. It'll, it'll be okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll get it handled. So, sorry for interrupting. No, no problem. I just, just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we'll do some traveling. You always got to look in your but make sure it's not Yeah, that's the other thing is, is the coffee cup always gets gnats in it. You're like, oh no. <laughs> it's too funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> too funny. But, well, we should probably get on with our day because get we have ready to, to go. meet our son for breakfast yep. here in just a bit. Yep. And um, download this video. Hopefully it won't take too long. Just a couple hours. And... <laughs> Seriously, it does. Are you like, what is taking so we long? We switch to the vlog camera instead of the cell phone. And so we get a better clarity and we get better mm -hmm. video content, but it just takes forever. So, yeah. I and mean, then, it's nothing on your guys' end. <laughs> We're the ones who have to be patient downloading it. God's so. dealing with you with patience. Absolutely. One more time. Absolutely. Every time you turn around. Every time. But yeah, so we're off to get ready to also go see maybe some houses or yep. some um, model homes or something yep. with our son. Go have fun today. And uh, say a little prayer for us that we find him something inexpensive, and um, which is impossible right now, but God is the God of the impossible. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, well, we love you guys so much. <laughs> I thought you were going to keep going. We love you guys so much. Have a wonderful Saturday, a wonderful weekend, and we will see you Monday for our uh, Money Monday. Money Monday. Okay. Till love next time. See you guys. Bye. Jay Krista. See you Jay Krista. Yeah, Jay Krista. <laughs> see you guys. See ya.